So in module two of the Workflow Academy, we looked at background colors for your lists or tasks and a number of ways you could use the style I put together. Now, we're gonna take a look at two other ways to add some color coding to your lists. I know you're gonna love these. In case you missed it, I'll leave a link to the list background colors screencast in the description box. First, let me show you what I'm talking about and then I'll tell you how to set it up. Let's head on over to my color indexes for the three styles under question. Here's the color index for my list background color style, which you've already caught more than a glimpse of in previous screencasts. Now, let me jump to my colored tabs style. At once, you'll see the style allows you to color code your tasks or projects with a more simple, minimalist colored tab in the left margin. And here we have my colored bullet index. This doesn't take up any extra space at all since you simply transform the styling of your actual bullet. I try to keep this as uncluttered as possible. You'll notice that if a list has children nested thereunder, when collapsed, you'll see a hollow circle or donut in the center. And when expanded, or if there are no children lists, the bullet remains one solid color. Let's go to a random set of my tasks. No color at all. Now let's flip to a list with the same tasks, but with background colors. The difference is quite striking, that's for sure. If I hover over the hidden tag, in the first list, you'll see the tag I'm using is hashtag pale violet red. Now let's flip to the same list of tasks, but this time with modest colored tabs in the left margin. Not so in your face, but still, I've got the color coding I want. Once again, let's hover over the hidden tag here and you'll see that I'm still using the color pale violet red, but the tag begins with T hyphen. T is for tab, by the way. The T prefix will give me the color I want, the same color as the list background color, but a smaller sliver of color. Now, jumping to another list, the same set of tasks yet again, and still using color in moderation, just a different method. Here you see I've colored the bullets instead of giving the entire list a background color or using a colored tab. This is for those folk who'd prefer to color their bullets as their primary way of color coding items. Now, if I hover over this hidden tag here, what you'll see is that instead of prefixing my colored tag with T hyphen, I've prefixed it with B. B hyphen pale violet red. B is for bullet, by the way. Now let's flip back to our first list, the one without any color. I'm gonna color code all of these with the color steel blue. The first list, I'm gonna give a background color and use hashtag steel blue. The second list, I'm gonna give a colored tab, so it's gonna be hashtag T hyphen steel blue. And the third list, I'm gonna give a colored bullet. So it's gonna be hashtag B steel blue. And for the fourth list, I'm gonna give a colored bullet. And a colored tab. And for the fifth list, I'm going to create a colored bullet and a colored background. You get the idea. You can use combinations of the three color coding dynamics if you wish. So how do you get these styles to work? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've left you the links to all three styles in the description box. Go ahead and install them. Now, if you're totally new to this, I've left a link to a previous screencast that walks you through the process. 
I've also left a link to a shared workflowy list that'll give you step-by-step -step instructions. The value of this screencast beyond a show and tell of these two new color coding dynamics I've spent countless hours on to bring you is simply making them available to you. So enjoy.